It's your wedding day and you want to look the best you have ever looked. You want to walk down the aisle and for, that, for your future husband to go, yes, that is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to say a couple of things. First of all, any treatments you have that involve like plucking your eyebrows or facials, have them at least three or four days before the event of the wedding because you, will, you don't want those little red marks and all those things that can happen. And also, my advice would be to test either on yourself or to have the makeup artist doing your wedding to test her makeup on you before the event because you don't want any surprises on the day. So I'm now going to give you my take of bridal makeup this season on this beautiful face. I'm using quite a thick moisturiser. I want her skin to look moisturised and dewy all day. It's important that her skin is hydrated. Now remember that maybe your dress, if your dress is quite low, to bring all the moisturizers down onto your chest as well. I'm going to match the foundation to her neck here, imagining that her dress might be slightly décolleté. So I'm now choosing the foundation for the face, which must match her neck. This is the one, look, it blends completely into her skin. There's no difference between the skin and the décolleté and going up onto her face. Her, her face is slightly more ruddy, that will now be corrected. Now, I don't have a technique of, you know, I don't use brushes and I simply go straight from the product to my fingers to the face, which I think for me is by far the best way. The warmth of the skin and the warmth of my fingers will help blend it better. You can see right now how amazing her skin is looking with one product. So my next product to use is concealer. Now, this is going to be a lot lighter than the foundation. It's going to be lifting her entire eye area, okay? As you can see, I have gone quite far down and right, right across, I am literally lifting the eye area, okay? So now you can see this whole area has been lightened and brightened with the concealer underneath her eye. So I'm tapping it down onto her cheekbone so there's no definition between the cheekbone and the eye area, it's all blended, and blended down. So now I'm using a different concealer that is slightly darker, that is not lighter, to cover her tiny little blemishes. And this will blend in completely once I've patted it in. Please note that I'm using concealer after the foundation because if you used the concealer before, you would actually really pat it and blend it all away. So it's important to use a concealer after the foundation. Okay, then I'm going to pat that in. My next step is to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to again use my finger and I'm just going to rub it in. As you can see, this is like this delicious pink colour. And I'm going to gently put it across her lid. So this lovely feminine, gorgeous pink. It's also a great base for anything I put on top, like the pencils or the liners or whatever else. Okay, I'm now going to line the eye, which means putting a liner through the, through the lid here. And I'm just putting this in the roots of the lashes. You know, I think the colours that you sort of stay away from on your wedding day are the sort of the greens and the blues and things that are not true skin colours. If you notice, children often have violet in their eyelids. So this is a very real colour for the, eye, for the eyelid. But, um, you know, blues and greens really aren't, so you should maybe stay away from those colours unless you absolutely love them. At the moment, she has, def she has a waterproof pencil around her eyes, but this is still, this won't dry completely. So now what I want to do is actually make sure that the makeup is going to be set for the whole day. So I'm going to use now some powders. I'm going to now move into powders. Taking now 
the middle fawn. I'm now going to start filling in the eye through here to give a socket. Can you see? Just very gently. I'm now going to move on to the darkest brown in the palette and I'm going to now give her even more of a socket through her eye. The back of the hand is a great tool for makeup, by the way, guys, just to remove any excess in case you think you've got too much on the brush. You can always knock it off and use your hand. So now I'm going to use this color, which I haven't used yet, okay? I'm going to, get, I'm going to take a smaller brush so I have more control and contour. Now for the moment, that's all the shadow I'm going to do. Curling lashes is something that you do not have to do. You know, if there's a time when you are going to curl them, it would be when you were getting married, so you have that kind of lovely doe-eyed look. I'm actually going to add black mascara because I think with this soft makeup, even though, again, brown mascara would be appropriate, um, I just love black mascara. So I've taken off the excess because I don't want her to have clumpy eyelashes. And I'm going to work this in to the roots of the lashes. Best to use waterproof mascara on your wedding day. So because this skin has quite a lot of yellow tone as its base, I'm going to go with actually quite a, a warm pink blush. I'm just going to put it literally there, just through on, on the cheekbone there right there on the apple of the cheek and just blend it up. Probably on your wedding day you're going to cry, you're going to be shy, you might even flush, you might even go bright red. So never on your wedding day have too much blush on. It's sort of like, I don't know, it becomes a little bit weird if you walk down the aisle with bright pink cheeks. So just keep that, that part of your makeup really soft and subtle. So this is with Le Beige, it's one of the wonderful Le Beige products by Chanel, in number five, which is the strongest of the five powders, the darkest of the five powders, and is a perfect contour colour. This is where you start your bronzer, from the inside corner of the ear, down, 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 to exactly the line of the eye and no further, okay? So you just take it straight down and then blend up. Now what I'm doing is I'm now shaping the face even more. So I'm taking the bronzer very gently up onto her forehead, just shaping the face, giving her face real definition. It's almost like I'm shading it. Now I'm going to use this new Chanel highlighting powder, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to use it all over the face because that would be too much, but I'm just going to use it on certain areas like on the cheek, just to lift the cheek. There you go. So you get that gorgeous glow through here. Do you see? That lovely glow coming in through here. All right. So I want to knock back the shine of certain areas on the face, and that is the forehead and the nose and the chin, okay, and around the nose. So for that I'm using Le Beige in number one, which is the palest colour. It's so subtle and so beautiful and will actually keep a glow, but not a shiny glow. So now her skin looks absolutely gorgeous, because she is gorgeous. I've chosen this really beautiful nude, which looks great on Alyssa's mouth. So for bridal makeup, I always really genuinely feel that it's much prettier to have a sort of mutual nude mouth rather than the bright mouth. So here we have my version of the bride for summer 2014.